The gospel we heard just now is taken from a section in John's gospel that talks a lot about the life of John the Baptist and kind of his early ministry. It takes place long before he was arrested and kind of put out of business. That's why we hear about both he and the other disciples of Jesus performing baptisms on all these new believers who were hearing about Jesus for the first time. They were letting everyone know that Jesus was about to enter the picture. There's a lot of controversy underway during this period too. People are seeing John baptize and they're seeing Jesus' other disciples baptizing too and they're asking questions that to us might seem odd. They're asking whether John's baptism is better than the other disciples' baptism. Is it the same baptism or is it something different? They're also asking if John the Baptist himself is the Messiah or if he is merely paving the way for the Messiah. At every turn, John the Baptist corrects these misunderstandings and he says, no, I am not the Messiah myself. I am just a friend of the bridegroom. I'm not the bridegroom himself. John then utters what's perhaps his most famous line. He says, he must increase and I must decrease. In other words, as Jesus looms larger and the truth about Jesus becomes clear, John the Baptist's role must diminish. It must take a back seat. This is what makes John the Baptist such a great prophet. As the gospel says, true prophets don't point to themselves or how interesting or special they are, but instead they point beyond themselves. They point to God and they speak for God. After all, as John says, his teaching is the simple teaching of an earthly man. But Jesus' teaching, by contrast, comes straight from the mouth of God. We can learn a lot from John the Baptist's prophetic voice and the way he conducts himself. When we think about it, many of the greatest things in life are prophetic. They don't just point to themselves and say, look at me, look at how great I am, but instead they point beyond themselves and they point to some even greater truth. Love between human beings is probably the best example of this. It's something that both believers and non-believers agree to be one of the most valuable things on earth. But as believers, it goes even further. Love is not just great in itself, but it's great because of what it points to. It shows us glimpses of what God is like. It teaches us about him and points to him. It shows us his design and his will. We're in a time right now when our ability to be distracted by the things of the world has decreased. We're judging the value of everything differently because we simply can't do the things we were doing every day months ago. So we can ask ourselves, when the world decreases, what will increase? We can look to John the Baptist's prophetic role and we can find that the things and people and values in our lives, these things must increase. We are in a time that gives us the opportunity to choose to put God in the first place. Being prophetic, like John the Baptist, means allowing everything in our lives to decrease, except for our friendship with God, and embracing the things that point to God and show us who he is.